Hi and welcome to today's video. Today we are going to be unboxing and reviewing the Sailor Feud D Manon Stroke Style Calligraphy Fountain Pen. This is an interesting pen because it has a nib angle of 55 degrees and uh, the color that I have over here is called as the bamboo green. So from the packaging, um, unfortunately I cannot read this language. It's written in Japanese because these paint pens are made over there. So I picked this up on Amazon for about 1799 You can uh, figure out where you can get it in your uh, place. So this is from the brand Sailor. I'm going to unbox this. Before that, I will just give you an idea of what it means by the 55 degrees. So you can see a regular pen will have like a straight nib, but in this it is bent. So this is meant for calligraphy. And uh, personally, I'm going to be using it for a lot of sketching, urban sketching specifically. Let's unbox this. So here is the pen. Um, it looks very beautiful. The color is so pretty and interestingly it does not have that flap um, where you can just stick it at the end of a book or on your pocket but they do have this roof um, over here it's like a small projection so this will prevent your pen from rolling down for example if i just allow it to roll down it's going to get stuck over there so that's a very interesting feature that they have the barrel is really long so i'm guessing that um, if this allows you to fill ink inside, then you can fill it throughout. The barrel is very long, which is a nice feature. It holds well. Let's open it and see how it looks. It is such a pretty looking pen and you can see the nib. It's golden color and it is bent over here. So I'm quite excited to try this out and inside it has a converter also oh, it's come with its own cartridge that's really nice so um, if you need to like change your uh, ink this has come with its ink on its own if you need to change it you need to get a converter so um, I'll probably make another video of how to use it with a converter sometime so let's now add this cartridge inside and start using this pen now, how do you use a cartridge? So there are two ends of a cartridge, one which will have like a flatter one, the one there's another side which has a little bit of like a cup inside um, or like a depression. So what you're supposed to do is don't take a pin or anything to puncture it. You just have to press it inside over here and push it till you feel that it has got punctured and it just gets stuck inside. So there's a small slight sound which comes in and that's how you know that it has fit inside. So now I'm going to fix this back in and make sure that it's, it's not moving or coming out. So I'm just going to check this back again. Yep, it fits perfectly fine. And I'm going to try now and write this on a paper and see how the pen works. All right, so I've got now a sketchbook over here. This is the Brewster sketchbook. It's about 180 GSM paper. You ideally can use anything above 100 GSM for fountain pens. You don't have to go too thick in terms of flex like GSM. Don't go to 300, 350, 440. You don't need that, okay? You just need anything above 100. But since I'm going to be doing a lot of sketching, I decided to try it out on this. It fits in at the back. And let's hope the cartridges fit in well and I'm able to use the ink. Oh, this is amazing. I'm going to zoom in and show you. Since the ink is, I think, a little new, I'm taking a little bit of time, but it's come out so well. So I'm going to make like a very quick sketch of, um, there's a cup of water in front of me. So I'm just going to try and draw that. And you'll get an idea of why I want to use this for urban sketching. The lines are so organic and beautiful. Yeah. 
I still need to get a hang of um, the cartridge, the ink, and I've never used a pen which has a nib bend so much. It is so interesting for me. I just have to ensure that it's not damaging it. Okay. And I have a small, a jelly road pen over here, so I'm going to try and draw that. So I think for calligraphy, it is so good, even for sketching. I am definitely going to be using this for a lot of um, urban sketching. Just gonna try and draw some buildings. I've got the angle of holding it only now, <laughs> after trying it out for some time. So if I need to get like thinner lines, I need to hold it at an angle, a little. So this way I can get very thin lines. So it's almost like, you know, holding a brush with um, vertically. So you can see how I'm holding it for the thin lines. It's so smooth. I, I love the flow of the ink. And if I make it sleep, then I get slightly thicker lines. So I can go from a thin to a thick line. So if I have to try and draw this again. Maybe I'll have a label on it. The lines are so beautiful and organic. I am a big fan of this pen already. It's going to be wonderful, especially for urban sketching. So I'm not sure what ink is there inside this, um, since it's come along with the cartridge. So I'm going to try, uh, the cartridge has come along with the pen. So what I'm going to do is, this has dried out. So I'm going to try and see if it is um, waterproof. So let me get a brush. I've got some water nearby and I'm going to try and see if this ink... Yeah, so it's not waterproof. It does spread out. So. Um, you, you should, if you're going to be doing like sketching with this, then make your painting or your artwork first, finish the watercolors that you're doing with it. And then once it's dried out, you can do an outline with it. Or you could change the ink. So if you need waterproof ink, you could try out Noodler's ink and there are a couple of other inks out there. And um, once I change my ink, I will uh, probably do a short video of the different kinds of waterproof inks you can use for your fountain pens. So today's video was just a quick brief of how to um, use the sailor pen and how good it is, what's the benefit of having the 55 degree nib and you can see the different organic strokes that you can make with it. So I'm so happy because I think when I go outside for sketching or even if I'm in my studio and I'm drawing something and I pick this pen and draw, the flow is so organic. You have no um, control sometimes and you just go about it and it looks so beautiful. Like I think this is come out really well. Um, you know, and, and when you're not trying, you're going to get some very beautiful strokes. So a big thumbs up from my side. If you're a fountain pen enthusiast, if you're a calligrapher, and if you're somebody who does a lot of sketching and illustration, then I would highly recommend you to get this pen. I hope this video has been useful for you and I'll see you soon for the next one. Bye-bye.